find a song to learn more chords on the banjo, I came up with the song Color My World by Chicago. The 1970 song was actually a B-side to another song, but it became famous as a song that you would hear at weddings, especially through the 70s and 80s. If you're a bluegrass banjo player, just a heads up that you might have to watch out for the bluegrass police on some of these chords. So what we'll be attempting to recreate is the opening piano solo that is a series of chords played in arpeggios. And we can play the arpeggio on our banjo by holding the chord. In this case I'm holding the first chord, the F major 7, and then the right hand pattern is in 6-8 time. You would count it like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and play it twice. reason you sometimes see it written in 12-8 time, but I just play it as two measures of 6-8 time. So the strings I'm hitting on the arpeggio are strings 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. So two thumbs in a row. Because many of these chord fingerings will be new to you, we'll go over each of those first, and then we'll just play the entire solo. Here are the chords we'll be trying to locate, and the triangle sign is just another way of saying major seventh. A major seventh chord is a mellow sound. Unlike a regular seven, here's F7. Kind of a sharp bluesy sound. So the second chord after our F major 7 is an A minor chord, all four strings, and I'm catching both of these strings with my second finger. The other way to play it would be to use all four fingers, but that's quite a shift from this. This way you're just moving that one finger. Another thing you'll want to do is determine your fingerings based on where you'll be heading to make the easiest possible change. So when I play this B-flat chord, I'm barring it with my third finger, not my first, because the chord that follows it, that E-flat major 7 add 9, is going to just have those same three strings barred, but with your first finger. The next change coming off of this chord to me is the most difficult one. We're going to move up to an A flat major seven. My pinky goes up to fret six and then I try to get the other three fingers to land. So again, the shift from here to here. Try to land your pinky first since it's the first note of the right hand pattern. The next chord is a G flat major 7, so simply move your A flat major 7 down two frets. You'll be good to go. And then as you go to this D9 chord, you just move fingers 1, 2, 3 down, hit the open 4th string. You do the pattern just one time on this and go to a D7. With the next chord being a G major 7, you take fingers 1 and 2 from your D7, move them up 2 frets, and add your pinky on the 4th string. And this E flat 9 really requires you to kind of readjust all of your fingers. I play a bar here and then get fingers 2, 3, 4. Finally, a chord coming up that many of you maybe have already played, and that is a C with an added pinky on the third string that gives you a C7. If you're coming from this E flat 9, you'll want 
to get your C chord going and add your pinky right as you're playing that. We now have come all the way around the progression to where we're back to the chord we started on, the F major 7th. This time you only play one pattern. Just three notes on this B flat, and this time I'm playing it with a first finger bar so I can get to this C7 by adding fingers three and four. And then this time the F major seven is going to be played like this. You reach up your pinky there and try to strum that chord. The one saving grace of playing so many difficult chords is that this song is at an extremely slow tempo, so it gives you a chance to find your fingerings as you're going along. So we now will play the entire song at the actual speed of the record. One thing I'm doing to stick with the mellow sound of the song is to use my thumb pick but no finger picks. That creates somewhat of the same ambiance that you get when you hear that piano on the original recording. So give it a try and get past the frustration of those stretches. It'll be great for you to build up these fingerings to where you can play all kinds of fancy chords on the banjo. And as always, have fun.